Our group read the, the book Butterfly Boy, The Memories of a Chicano Mariposa. It's myself, Michelle Kennedy, Kayla, Rachel, and Shannon. Throughout the book, we meet many new characters. One in specific was the main character, Rigoberto Gonzalez, who was a 20-year-old first-generation Chicano to come out to his family and society that he was gay. He grew up in a poor community of farm workers. His father was a farm worker, as well as his grandparents and many people in his community. But he didn't want to be a farm worker. He wanted to find a better life and forget about his past. However, his past did play a big part of his life, and he had to go back and face it. He had to find out who he was and not what others wanted him to be. He needed to find out who Rigoberto was really. Another character that we see throughout the book is his mother. When he was in fifth grade, his mother fell ill from a reoccurring heart condition that she had from a very young age. This led to her being hospitalized many times throughout her life. And later on, she passed away when he was at the age of 12. One of the major characters in the book is Rigoberto's father. He's abusive and an alcoholic. He would stay out late drinking, um, and he wouldn't be there for Rigoberto's life events. And at one point, he left, and he uh, didn't send them back any money so that they almost starved while they were in Mexico. Um, he also left another time in Rigoberto's life. Um, right after his mom died and missed a lot of life events and really didn't visit him when he went through hard times. And then he also disapproved of his son's sexuality, didn't want him to be gay, and didn't want him to be sissy or feminine. The gender roles in The Butterfly Boy are the men are allowed to use degrading terms such as machismo, which means a Mexican male ego, and women are expected to be polite all the time. The grand and his grandfather wanted control of the family, so he did the cooking and the cleaning. And the grandmother was the actual one that went to work. And typically, women were working at warehouses. We see throughout the book that Rigoberto's race and culture comes out. Rigoberto comes from the Hispanic or Latino race. He was born in Michoacan, Mexico, and he came from very poor farmlands where there wasn't much other than farming. His culture was very old school. We can see it throughout his family, very old school beliefs, but became more welcoming to modern beliefs as time went on or as the book went along. We see how many things change and how his family viewed modern beliefs, but as well as still hold on to a lot of old school beliefs as well. Another topic that we see throughout this book is depression and abandonment. After his mother had passed away, his mental health took quite a hit, and this led to him having a breakdown and him having to go stay with his aunt. His mother's death is something that stayed with him throughout his life and throughout his siblings' lives as well. His father left at different times throughout his life, which led to his abandonment issues. While they were in Mexico when he was younger, his father left for a long period of time and left him alone with his mother. And also, when his mother had died at the age of 12, his father left for a long period of time. Also, because of his drinking, his father would be out until really late hours of the night, which caused him to be gone for very long hours the of the day. The major themes in this book is sexuality. Uh, Rigoberto is a butterfly boy or a gay man, um, and that's where the name of the book comes from. And he does not have the support of his family, um, although it does seem like they do know he is gay. And at, at a point at the end of the book, it seems like his father begins to accept him more. Um, he gets in a lot of really dangerous relationships with older men through experimenting with his sexuality. Um, he gets with abusive men, um, especially his lover at the end of, in the end of the book who beats him and abuses him. Um, and he gets with men who expose him to drugs and other things. And this relates to our book because it shows how often individuals of color from low in income area areas are unable to come out to their families, um, which is discussed in our book by Ferguson. And his experience with sexuality also uh, uh, has to do with our readings because it reflects heterosexism and his family is a very heterosexist community. Ferguson states in our textbook, Race, Gender, Sexuality, and Social Class, that the American dream is if you work hard, you will be rewarded. But it is it does not apply for all races, as we see in The Butterfly Boy. His family was always awaiting the promise of a better life that they never received. 
He grew up around poor migrant farm workers and this idea of the machismo style of life. And this is something that he dealt with a lot growing up and throughout the rest of his life. Um, his family survived off of farming, and that is how they made their money. So when coming to the U.S., it was a very um, stressful time because they were worried about how they would continue to make their money with the changing climate in the U.S. In school, he would be made fun of because of where he and his family came from and how they made their money. And we realized throughout reading the Ferguson book and throughout a lot of our readings in this class that this happens to a lot of kids in school now and back in the day where they are made to feel different because of where they and their families come from and how their families make money. As we meet more of Rigoberto and his family, we see a specific topic, which was the religious beliefs. Rigoberto and his family came from Catholicist religious beliefs. They put an importance on this belief and put their entire trust in it. The term family values constituted a stone, a touchstone, a phrase that apparates tap deeper feelings about the significance of ideas of family values. Ferguson wrote this, the importance of family values was viewed upon the parents and would be passed down to their children. Rigoberto showed the struggles many people face when having to go against family beliefs and what the family believes is right according to their religion. So family values are another topic that's explored in this book. They have very traditional family values. Um, Rigoberto's mother is completely financially dependent on her husband at some points. Um, heterosexuality is the norm, which is another family, family value. And there are themes of power, sexism, and abuse, especially with hierarchies, uh, gender hierarchies, and age hierarchies, especially with his grandfather who abuses them, which all follow the values laid out in Ferguson. Our group discussed how the themes helped improve diversity, equity, and social justice in schools. Teaching students about the oppressions of the world help people realize what privileges they may have and hopefully will eliminate some hatred and bring equality into society. Hopefully it will also help people celebrate being different and have pride in who we are.